Alright guys, happy Thursday. So, um, yeah, the Dark Moon, it was pretty, uh, powerful using it the way I did to, you know, help all the spell work that's going on right now and to help, you know, everything get kind of going and just kind of uncover some things and it's pretty interesting. Using the tarot as a psychology tool and not just, you know, for divination, but it's it's different, very different. So uh, all these psychological, you know, aspects of the tarot, and then then Jungian tarot and psychology. It's it's pretty interesting. It's really interesting, and this is all connecting. So we have the suit of cups today. So and first we will start with the ace of cups, and this is beautiful. How beautiful is that card? I love it. I do. It's so beautiful. Rachel, you are amazing. Alright, so the Ace of Cups. Always Aces are potential, so... Um, on a high vibe, we have love, joy, happiness, abundance, opportunity, fertility, productivity, and intuition. On a low vibe, we have depression, endings, breakups, and unrequited feelings and rejection. So, Aces carry the potential of their whole suit. In the case of Cups, that means there is an abundance of emotional satisfaction and love available love of self and of or love of others this is not guarantee it's not a guarantee but the energy is there for those who want it when you embrace the ace of cups you vibrate higher than fear shame or doubt so this is the perfect time to open up your heart and world expand horizons and gain new perspectives if you're not there yet uh, this is an opportunity to let go of what's been uh, dragging you down and welcome and joy perfect card perfect card especially after the shadow work yesterday wow in relationship dynamics a new interest holds the potential for real love and actual fulfillment couples may feel a renewed deepening connection singles are glowing vibrating on a frequency that others are picking up on some are ready to date after heartbreak others may end situations that are causing pain and move toward more satisfying prospects now in professional life a rebirth of interest or possible total reset is moving your tor is moving toward you toward your dream position some might have an overabundance of responsibilities you're up to the ta you're up to the task opportunities for advancement exist if you let the boss know you are a committed and dedicated member of the team very good card very very good card so, now if we pull in a low vibe, we have the woe is me, victim -y energy can repel the very things that you want. So the ability to attract love can be proportional to your own personal vibration. You may feel disappointed, possibly even drowning in emotions. After setbacks, check your inner dialogue if someone else spoke to you in the same tone. Would you vibrate toward them or away from them? Um, hypersensitization or being too self focused um can lower your vibe uh when you start to value yourself healthy love is waiting so that's the potential for all kinds of love self-love love of others just expansion you know so expanding the love and it's pretty yeah that's a really nice card so now we have the two of cups so we're moving into from the potential of love into what it looks like to be hmm, a meeting of sorts you know maybe a little bit of a marriage going on there very beautiful card, very beautiful card. So we have the Two of Cups. High vibe, we have partnership, union, love, happiness, joy, cooperation, mutual attraction, reconciliation, harmony, and balance. And that is everything that we need right now. Low vibe, codependency, rejection, separation, imbalance, one-sided attraction, isolation, and discord. An auspicious new love or partnership might have you walking on cloud nine. The tingly, exciting feeling going on is a dopamine gold mine. For some, this card hel heralds true love. This is a relationship card that indicates a partnership that could go th the distance. So for those who have closed themselves off, whoops, when you get this card in a reading, it's an invitation to look at how you view, process, and engage in emotional and physical intimacy. For some, it's time to examine how you were taught to love as a child and create new, healthier patterns. In relationship dynamics, you may be awakening to a strong mutual attraction with a soulmate. Some are freshly in love, feeling seen and appreciated. Others are in the beginning stages of a heavy like. Enjoy the moment and resist the temptation to rush things or feelings. Singles who desire a connection should visualize their perfect partner. You have the power to manifest what you desire. Now, in professional life, 
you may have, have landed a dream job, um, an important interview, or a big contract. Things are unfolding naturally and in your favor. Others are drawn to ideas you campaign. So, if you're still waiting for new opportunities, keep a lookout and, you know, they're coming your way. Love that. Alright, now we have, if it's pulled in a low vibe, we have rejection, one-sided attraction, or an imbalance of power may have you blue. Sometimes an instant attraction to a person, specific idea, or job creates attachment to a desired outcome. And when things don't work out, disappointment can turn to depression. So, examine your low vibe connections and partners, oh, and patterns, and use this time to shed old baggage. It's time to make way for new loves. Oh, I want to so badly, but it's just... Bleh. I don't know. We have the Three of Cups, which is really amazing. So we have, like, what? But the, the love has become something, you know, sanctioned, and we're it looks like we're at a reunion of some kind right here. So we have the two lovers that are uh, shadow-formed, and we have the figures in the background, but then we have the three prominent women in the front, just like the regular just like the regular Three of Cups. Alright, a high vibe. Teamwork, friendship, abundance, pleasure, community, optimism, growth, and festivities. Low vibe. Discord, overindulgence, debauch debauchery, jealousy, isolation, stagnation, um, oh, competition, uh, distraction, and aloofness. Now, a fun social time full of gatherings and celebrations that is at hand. New and intriguing people may have entered the scene, uplifting the general mood. Things should feel festive, <clears throat> with less stress and strife to the daily grind. Make the most of new and old uh, connections, and engage with those who uplift your vibration. Now, in relationship dynamics, you may be playing the field, flirting, and seeing who's up to par. Some may be reuniting with old friends and lovers. For others, a child or an addition to the family may be in store. Occasionally, this card can mean an inter interloper, a third party in a situation. Uh, so communication is key. If you're not involved, now's the time to get back out there. Be open to new experiences. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Alright, um, in your professional life. Uh, new connections and recent developments can provide great returns now and in the future. Stay open to innovative ways of thinking. Your hard work is catching the eye of those in a position to help your dreams become reality. Don't push too hard. Let things flow naturally. Old clients may return in this time of abundance. Hmm. Now, if pulled in a low vibe, jealousy, isolation, or depression may be causing an emotional shutdown, rejection, or uh, recent disappointment may be getting the best of you. Petty or baseless gossip should be avoided. There's value in communing with others who support and nurture your dreams. Go out and find your true tribe. Very true. Now we have the Four of Cups. Alright, so this is very different. So, this reminds me of somebody trying to un uncover the love. We have um, the guy right there. We have an eye up here at the top. Kind of peeking out. Right here. Right there. Kind of peeking out. And looking at him. So, very, very nice card. Now... Um, on a high vibe, we have self-reflection, meditation, focus, personal time, um, personal time out, and an emotional space. So, low vibe, we have uh, malice, detachment, isolation, discontent, boredom, apathy, and stubbornness. Okay, to build a more stable foundation, your personal need for space should take uh, precedent, precedence. Precedence. You need an emotional time out. For some, this means a break from everyone and everything demanding your time. Peace and quiet will aid in reconnecting you to your passions with a fresh perspective. If you're already in a period of withdrawal or self-protection, this card may be telling you it's time to reconnect with the world at large. Some may give or receive an offer of friendship or love that's met with little interest. Don't take it personally if you're rejected. If the shoe is on the other foot, let the wearer down easy. So in relationship dynamics, a seed for space or a redefining of boundaries may be present. Distance, distance and aloofness can cause partners to feel left out or taken for granted. You can need space but still love someone. It doesn't mean the dynamic is over for good. 
all healthy relationships have ups and downs. Use this time to figure out if the goal is reconnection or if things have run their course. Some may be ready for their uh, to offer their cup of love after a dormant period. <laughs> In professional life, block out distractions and focus on the projects at hand. You may be working alone and find that boredom with the daily grinds has set in. You're building your future, so stay on task and out of politi office politics. Anyways, if pulled in low vibes, a lack of motivation can create a, for a fortress of loneliness around you. Intuition dulls when feelings of isolation takes over. It's easy to get lost in the solitude of daydream and daydreams and distractions. Release fear connected to stored pain. When the time or when need wait, when the need to protect yourself impedes personal growth, it's time to leave the cocoon and learn to fly. So love these cards. I love these the the way that you have done these, Rachel, are incredible. We have the Five of Cups. Alright, so this is very, 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 very emotional. I mean, like, very emotional. So, I mean, there's eyes everywhere. It just doesn't seem, I don't know. Something feels very off here. So it's a very different card. Alright, now on the high vibe, we have release, re-engagement, hope, reunion, independence, closure, and acceptance. On a low vibe, we have heartbreak, disappointment, grief, obsession, depression, stagnation, and regret. When you're too focused on the emotional pain of what didn't work out, you miss what's still available to you. You may be in a period of processing disappointments and rejections and or bouts of negative thinking. A conscious choice must be made to set down burdens and baggage in order to salvage what remains. Now in relationship dynamics, um, a period of recovery after emotional, an emotional upheaval or turbulence may have you feeling relief and a renewed connection to your partner. When you release sadness, you make room for expand for an expansion of love. For some, the choice to let go of past resentments and move forward together or end things for good may be on the table. In either personal or professional relationship, love is still available if your partnership goals are aligned. So, in your professional life, you may need to regroup after a setback. Some received a smaller piece of the pie than expected. Things are now moving in the right direction with the focus on what can be accomplished rather than what was lost. The demise of, asp of past aspirations makes way for more profitable situations to come in. These cards are really vibing today. Literally, I mean, it, yeah, they are. Now, if pulled in a low vibe, attempts to control situations that are no longer serving you are draining your energy. That's exactly what I needed to hear today. Thank you, universe. Starting or er, staring too long at the past and what is already gone causes stagnation. Letting go of attachment to a desired outcome will allow new energy to flow your way. Emotional overload can leave us in a victim space. Numbing or drowning your feelings may cause depression and anxiety. Often we wrap pain so tightly around us it becomes a defining feature. It's time to release that pain and open yourself to new love. I like that. Yes, I do. I like. I really like that, and I like the connection there with the psychological, the, within psychotherapy too. So the body it stores pain. It always remembers pain, whatever kind of pain, emotional trauma, abusive mental abuse. It the body, it, it stores pain. So when that you know we get triggered, our body reacts in all kinds of weird, strange, odd ways. So six of cups. This is beautiful. This is all about love sharing friendship i just see so much you know happiness and joy and you know contentedness contentedness in this card it just uh, it just looks amazing so the six of cups all right high vibe reunion forgiveness healing joy peaceful time uh satisfaction childlike wonder and nostalgia mm. low vibe separation anger mistrust pain suffering abandonment and low self-esteem <coughs> There's a lot of joy to be found in simple everyday things. A sense of innocence and freedom is ev ev elevating your vibe. Long forgotten memories may arise. Reconnecting with the past provides answers about the present and hints at the future. In a relationship dynamic, some might be meeting a new soulmate or rethinking a past connection that was deeper than previously realized. Reminiscing can bring up mutual feelings or reveal an... Um, unrequited longing so welcome reunions with friends or family we may be taking place 
family may be taking place. Uh, you're realizing how much others appreciate you. In professional life, things should be oh, operating smoothly between you and your client or boss. You're probably feeling valued and integral. If you're up for a job or promotion, uh, there's a great chance that the powers that have, you know have been taken notice of you. If you're searching for the right fit, a positive, a positive sunny disposition, and a paramount for attracting success. So very good, actually. So if pulled in the low vibe, letting go of past sorrows creates an opening for new experiences and greater love. Recent events like a breakup or emotional loss may have reopened old wounds, leaving you in a state of confusion or crisis. Um, refusing to accept the end of a partnership can cause depression and anxiety. Negative thought patterns can keep you trapped and emotionally lost in the past. So find a healthy way to express and release these emotions. Alright. So now we have the Seven of Cups. Alright, this one's very different. So Lots of, I don't know, this, this is just a very different deck. I love it though. So that is the seven. We have all kinds of different jewels up there. Different, yeah, you know, all kinds of different jewels and everything just, you know, kind of coming out of the cups. All right. High vibe. Choice, options, dream states, luxury, intuition, reflection, and meditation. Low vibe. Um, avoidance, laziness, self-absorption, delusion, overindulgence, distractions, illusions, procrastination. Choices and options are often accompanied by divine inspiration, as well as occasional confusion. Intuitive messages leading to the clarity can happen at this time. Keep a journal with you to note your epiphanies and stay open to your higher self. Makes sense. If you're pondering an, an important decision, stay focused on your goals and moving forward on your path. In relationship dynamics, you may be lost in a dreamy bubble of love. Make sure you're both on the same page, as it's easy to overlook important differences at this time. Some may have feelings f uh, for more than one person. You may need to make a choice, or the choice will be made for you. Yeah, that's terrible. In professional life, think outside the box while keeping an eye on def details. If the stakes are high, this is not a time to hem and haul. Uh, make clear, decisive choices that prove you are an integral asset or team leader. If pulled in the low vibe, Daydream Land is a fun place to visit, but don't get lost drifting in um, malaise, or you may find yourself blindsided. Delusions, distraction, and inaction can drown out desire and ambition. Take stock of what you are wasting time on that's keeping you from attending to your and your potential partner's emotional needs. Getting lost in self-involvement and or being inconsiderate of others' feelings can lead you to miss warning spot signs. Ooh, I have ashes all over me. <laughs> Alright, so it's time for a more um, analytical mindset in order to dial in to what you truly desire. Now we have the Eight of Cups. We have an emotional journey to where? I don't know. Where are we going in this one? I like this card, though. Alright, so, in a high vibe, we have change, endings, journeys, strength, decisions, reconnection, and hope. Low vibe, we have stagnation, instability, abandonment, lack of commitment, and aloofness. So, um, recent endings and the emotional sadness that came with them are lifting. Moving away from situations that are weighing you down will bring lightness, release, and relief are possible when the focus is shifted to the new opportunities at hand. In relationship dynamics, you may be feel you may feel like opening to new connections after a period of confusion or sadness. Walking away from a difficult situation has brought healthy or healing and clarity about what is desired in a partner. Some may decide to separate or find that a friendship has run its course. Others are stuck on the idea of re reconciling with an ex. Now, in professional life. This card can be a sign to walk away from dead-end situation, situations, uh, be they business or personal. Breakthroughs in thinking help you come up with a solution for a problem. For others, um, an artist's project is coming to completion. New, exciting projects and opportunities are on the horizon. The, temptator, the temperament of a cranky co-worker may have caused problems previously, but you don't have to... S 
squabble with office politics. If you're searching for work, try new approaches or revamp your resume. If pulled in a low vibe, <laughs> Um, fulfilling, yeah, fulfilling connections are available when you are open to them. This is an invitation to examine attachments that are keeping you stuck in old patterns. Feelings of stagnation, abandonment, depression, and anxiety need emotional release work. Codependency may be dragging you down. Learning to self-nurture and self-soothe will help you count every inch forward as a victory. So, stop looking back. Opportunities are never in the rearview mirror true very true now we have nine cups and this is like the most beautiful card i've ever seen just feeling amazing feeling great emotionally you know about yourself about you know your relationships all of your you know relationships in life beautiful card so high vibe abundance comfort ease achievement wish fulfillment blessings inheritance gratitude and luxury Low vibe, sadness, stagnation, depression, disease, disappointment, and failure. You're feeling clear on what you desire and aware of how to attract it to you. Emotional and spiritual release work has brought a sense of well-being and tremendous personal growth. When dreams come to fruition, savor the goodwill. In some circles, the Nine of Cups is known as the wishing card. Manifest to your heart's desire. It's time to shine. Now, in relationship dynamics... You may be attracting a variety of viable suitors or friends, I wish. Connections to any current partner should be feeling on point and milestones may be reached. Some may add to their family during this joyful time. Ah, pregnancy. If you're still searching for intimacy, emotional or physical, um, this is an auspicious time to attract a match into your life. If professional life opportunity or in professional life opportunities are coming or are already available, if you're celebrating recent accomplishments, it's okay to treat yourself in f if finances permit. If you're searching for work, manifesting the perfect situation is possible if you put in the legwork. Journaling and creative visualization can help facilitate your visions for the future. Imagine the steps along the way, not just the outcome. Yeah. So that's true, yeah. Now, if pulled in a low vibe, setbacks and uh, disillusionment, disillusionment can lead to feelings of victimization and a negative outlook. Desires are within reach, although may you, you may feel you may need a reality check before moving forward. Some may have found achieving their dreams has led, left a hollow feeling where prideful haughtiness morphs into smugness. Time to get back on your path and intuit which road leads to personal happiness. So, yeah, these are some pretty personal cards right now that are coming, that are popping out. So the Ten of Cups obviously represents, you know, the end, the completion, so, of, you know, the heartache and everything that has gone on. We have the completion, we have the end. So happiness, joy, fulfillment, family, the family unit, you know, the family, the colony, you know, families staying together like they did in the olden days. So we have the Ten of Cups. Now, high vibe, which represents completion, happiness, commitment, family, emotional fulfillment, um, contentment, and abundance. And I am flashing like crazy. So low vibe, turmoil, isolation, denial, attachment disorders, sadness, and disconnection. That sucks. A time of joy, happiness, and completion re replete with a sense of uh, communal love is at hand. Celebrate the bounty, hard work and the culmination of your emotional desires. You may have recently graduated or experienced another major milestone. The vibe fulfillment, the vibe of fulfillment can carry a bittersweet note for some, as completion leads to endings, so rejoice as new beginnings are on their way. Now, if you're in transition, know that you are moving toward success. Now, in relationship dynamics, you may have met someone special or gotten married or might be in the process of blending a family. Celebrations and gatherings are happening. Savor the inner peace and enjoy the exciting revelry. If you're still searching, you could meet a potential life partner at this time. <laughs> yeah, right. That's never going to happen, but it's okay. In professional life, you may receive a promotion or raise where a big project may be in the final stages, so there may be last-minute jitters, but keep faith that results will be re well received and your participation rewarded. If you haven't seen progress yet, keep pushing. Victory is close. So very good. I love this card. I've always loved the Ten of Cups. 
You know, pulled in the low vibe, feelings of depression, failure, or stagnation may be overwhelming you, creating an isolating, lonely, anxious existence. If you're feeling depleted, you have little to offer others. Your social circle can provide support. If not, find a new one. <laughs> Very blunt and bold. I love that. If not, find a new one. Holding on to what's gone or what didn't happen may put some in a victim mindset by releasing fear-based thoughts. You can soar to new heights without endings, and you can't have new beginnings. Or without endings, you don't have new beginnings. You can't have new beginnings. My gods. So, alright, tomorrow we will move on to the other cards of the deck. What do you guys feel about those? Do you guys like those? I do. I really love these. So... It's really been part of my uh, shadow work here recently, like over the last night, you know, with the new moon, and then, you know, my personal spell work, and my personal, you know, development, my psychological growth, my uh, mental growth, you know, and all of that stuff, all about the growth that we do inside, and yeah, the shadow work definitely has... It, different, it's different, but I've had, you know, um... Like I've been, I've been really into um, the psychology behind the tarot cards. So how do people use tarot cards in psychotherapy? So, uh, like the Empress would represent someone's mother, or you know, the High Priestess could be somebody's mother. We don't know, but it's just really, really interesting to take into consideration. You know, using the cards, you know, to try to, you know, delve into our own issues more. I mean, that is really what the tarot is: a tool for self self development. Really, it's not telling the future, it's telling formations of what's going on right now into the future. So, possible. You know, you could see, you could take one card, the Ten of Cups, and you could see 20 different probabilities for the future. So, and those 20 probabilities could change with one thought. So, that's why none, none of the cards are ever set in stone. But they're good. <laughs> the tarot is amazing. That's all I gotta say. So, for me like yesterday, um, or last night, I was focusing on some of my own issues that I have with myself, and I drew the Justice card. How do I overcome somebody else, somebody else's, you know, um, tyrannical ways and narcissistic ways and their weird way of thinking? So I got the Justice card, so I kind of took my journal out, wrote down kind of what I thought and I um last night I didn't uh, yeah about 8 44 p.m. last night I was like I have no idea literally in my journal I have no idea so um so the, for me it would be you know is the energy of the justice the man on there is you know way too much it's way too much um overbearingness you know the tyrannical person the Libra so yeah, you guys kind of can pinpoint where I'm going with that. But that's what I'm really working on with tarot now for myself. And I'm trying to integrate that and really remember what I took. Because I did take four years of psychology with a minor. I don't know how I got a minor with four years of psychology. I think I, got, I should have gotten something bigger, like a major. But I'm really trying to integrate that into my tarot readings. And really trying to, you know, bring up the psycholo psychology of what, you know... Um, of, you know, behavioral, you know, psychology and development. And it's really interesting. There's some really, really neat people on here with so many different, you know, perspectives on, you know, interpreting the tarot, um, the, you know, Jungian archetypes, and how we can actually, you know, just better our lives with these. So it's really, it's really worth it if you want to. Go ahead and watch um, tarot and uh, psychology. Uh, I don't know who she is, but she's one amazing woman. Um, she's a, um, a behavioral therapist, which I really like, and um, everything she told me is what my um, trauma therapist told me, so it's just, it's really neat. So, I'm trying to find different different ways of thinking to uh, redirect my mind so I don't go into a freeze mode. She talks about the freeze mode, too, fight and, flight and, f fight and flight, or freeze. Your body wants to stay here, you can't move, but the mind, the consciousness, displaces itself. That's scary. To me, that's scary. But I have not disassociated for it. I, I did a night like last week, but it, I, I remember, you know, I'm here. I'm like literally right here. So, 
what, what do you guys think about, you know, the whole psychology of tarot, Jungian, archetypes, all of it. I want to know everything that you guys think. So uh, email me if you want to. Um, I will reply. Um, and hit that little bell down there and personalize, you customize, so you know when I go live. So um, a lot of you said that you don't get you know, the notifications and it makes you mad. So just make sure that you click the subscribe and the, the, the like. And then it gives YouTube the recognition that, okay, people are watching my videos, so then you will get notified. And then especially that little bell down there. So, But alright guys, I love you all very, very much. All the way from Venus. Always Venus. All the way back down. And I will see you all tomorrow. And I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you guys please stay safe. And yeah, just stay healthy and safe. And I love you guys very much with all my heart. So I'll see you all tomorrow. And everybody have a great day.